This is the psychological support section for Lal to the High 2018 edition. First point, you need to look at your runner's body language. Learn more about your runner and his or her race plan by meeting often during acclimatization days. Don't take it for granted if you happen to be a friend or a family that you know what's going on. Being in lay will make you more aware and you know, spending time more with them will make you more aware how they behave, what the plans are. Just don't be like, oh, I'm, I'm the son and hence I know. You know what? That's where the mistakes happen more. So you need to be aware of their behavior in those conditions. All right. Point two, these runners are very well experienced and know how they would react in certain situations. They might even tell you how you can help them or need to do in those conditions or situations. Listen to them. Listen to the runners. They've been on it for a while. Okay. They know how the body behaves. Uh, yes, we need you to be helping them, but you need to kind of, you know, let them also decide for themselves how to make the most of you as well. Okay, so it's like a teamwork at its best. Point three, if you're walking alongside your runner throughout the checkpoint, suggest him, her to st stride out if you notice their steps shortening through fatigue. So basically just keep encouraging them, okay. Uh, pushing them here and there a little bit, but don't overdo it either. So it's, it's a fine balance here, okay? You'll get to know them soon enough, okay? Point four, everyone has a different approach and different temperament. Runners and crew need to be kind to each other. Crew members are there for runners to achieve their goals and want you to succeed, all right? It's as simple as that. A simple thank you helps then, all right? So just be nice to each other. Yes, all of us are different. Um, we need to be aware of that and we all are there to make you finish. Okay, let's do it in a happy, happy way. Point five, be encouraging to the runners and your fellow crew members. I keep saying it all the time. And it's very fascinating in lay, you know, during this run, everyone's hugging each other. People who never hug otherwise are hugging. Um, it's because of the camaraderie yet again. It's about that family thing that's actually happening around there and the effort that goes into this. Okay, point six, your runner will go through a range of emotional and physical highs and lows during the race based on fatigue, mental state, pain, perceived performance, uh, you know, the, the rhythm, the body rhythm, the circadian rhythm that is there. Nutrition is the most significant thing which helps in controlling the lows. So nutrition, rest, they are the most important things. Keeping the right pace is very, very important. So you keep that right, you'll do pretty well, all right? Uh, there's no point resting very little but moving very slow. I would rather have them rested well, you know, fed well, and then moving quicker, rather than, you know, sleep deprived and hungry and just kind of, you know, crawling their way. But they'll struggle a lot more, all right? A steady supply of calories will help keep the mood and physical state up. The rising sun tends to have a positive impact on both teams and the crew. So please rest, have a plan in place where a triple three runner rests at least three times, if you know, two at least, if not three. Uh, the triple two at least twice, uh, I would say they should be resting. You'll see them finish stronger. You'll finish, see them do a lot better. Point seven, your personal feelings and thoughts about anything related to running and the event, which would be negative or conflicting statements are strictly to be kept to yourself and at any point and not discussed with the runners they don't need that negative thoughts that time. You know, you might hate us really. That's all good. Uh, that's not the best time to share with them that, oh my God, we're just the worst person on the planet Earth. Uh, all good, yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, during the race, keep it with yourself. You know, share with them once they finished it. Uh, and not discuss with the runner or the other support crew members, which might prove to be discouraging to everyone. And then it's a downward spiral that you're into and the whole team goes for a toss, all right? So share such thoughts, complaints directly with the core team organizers. Give us a feedback. Let us know. We are okay. But your, to your own team, your crew, personal crew, your runner, please, please refrain from doing that. Okay? Because the runner has enough on his legs and plates and wherever.